Welcome back to some more Pokemon Heart Gold. So last time, we defeated Sabrina, and we also made our way to Pallet Town. And yeah, in this part, I actually did a lot of things off screen, and I actually included Blender's password and um, the berry. So yeah. So instead, what we're gonna do is I need to find a hiker on this route because he wants to rematch us. Yeah, and here he is. I've been waiting. So yeah, let's go ahead and battle him. This is the first time we're rematching him, so let's go. So his parry was Onyx. And yeah, it's not too idle because again, this is our first time rematching him. So yeah, let's give this a go. But yeah, I, like I said, did some things off screen, and yeah, that's gonna be one of the main focuses in this part, so yeah. So yeah, <laughs> it should be, it might be obvious what it is, but yeah. We're gonna be completing a side quest that um, we kind of got stuck on for a little bit, so yeah. Because yeah, I did some things off screen, and yeah, that should be a problem. So yeah, once to defeat this dude, with this nice earthquake, we're gonna go back to Cerulean, and yeah, we're gonna be completing that side quest. And afterwards, I'm probably actually just gonna go back to Jordan, which is kind of funny, but anyway. Same with him defeat, let's... Wahaha, <laughs> I'm the big loser. Let's go to Jodo. But yeah, he... Oh, well, Kanto, sorry. But yeah, he actually does give us something. Which is an iron. That's kind of cool. But again, I'd rather sell those than use them, so yeah. But anyway, yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna go fly to Cerulean. And yeah, we're gonna be completing that side quest. Alright, we're here. Let's complete this. So... As you can probably expect, yeah, I did breed a Pichu for a Pichu. I caught Pikachu in Fruiting Forest, and it was female, so I bred it with a Growlithe, actually, because Growlithe is in the same group. So, yeah, giving him the Pichu obviously gives you a Thunderstone. He always wants a Pichu, no matter the version. And here's his last request. I heard that there's a blue and round Pokemon Chudo. Bill told me that the end of his tail works like a float. Its belly is white. Just the belly, I would love to see what it looks like. We have that Pokemon AC, please? Alright. And yeah, that Pokemon causes Meryl, which is kinda hard to get because it swarms. It either swarms or you need to go for a 1% encounter. And yeah, there we go, finally. We have a Water Stone. But yeah, in Soul Silver though, I'm pretty sure it's actually Staryu that he wants instead of Meryl. So yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go deposit these two. And we're gonna go back to the Bruins of Earth because we can finally complete it. Alright, we're here finally. So yeah, over here. That says water. And yeah, what we need to do there is we need to use a water stone. Which is very weird, but there you go. And that gives us a leper berry, which is not bad. A mystic water, another one. Do some power war type moves. A star piece, we can sell that. And a star dust, you can also sell. See, so, yeah, not as good as the rewarded O, oh, most likely because yeah, that's supposed to be, um. That's obviously the last one, this is obviously the second to last one. Okay, now let's solve this so that we can now find all the unknown. So, here, 10 like a poke on the sun's the bottom of the sea and eats plankton. But yeah, I did. I did have a failed recording uh, a while ago. This is actually, yeah, I talked about this in the whole part. I did actually solve this on my own, so I should be able to just do it on my own. Hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah, something like that, probably. Now I need to figure out how the shape of the spiral is. It's all about, you know, matching the lines, I think. But probably not like that. I'll save that one for later. Actually, yeah, I think another thing that helps with this one is that, yeah, the... The Omanyte, I believe, is one-eyed in this, so yeah, that's something else to remember. I think that one works. Mm, maybe not. Okay, and yeah, think about this, uh, sort of carefully. Again, it's all about matching the lines. Like that. That looks a lot better. And then, yeah. I think that means that could work. 
There we go, that was correct. So now, we have basically Sultra and stuff. All I need to do now is the busy work of catching all the unknown. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the escape rope. Probably uh, I should use the escape rope. There they are. And yeah, I needed strength to get this, so yeah, it took me a little while to actually get there. So yeah, because of that. But with that all done, yeah. Next time I go to Ruins of Alf, we're gonna actually be able to solve it. So yeah, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back to Pallet Town, I'm also gonna get Trick Feet back in the party, and then yeah, let's start exploring Route 21, the route south of Pallet Town. Alright, let's go south of Pallet Town. So that grass, um, just like um, at least Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can find Tangler there, but you can also find Mr. Mime, which kind of reminded me that um, yeah, Ash Swarm has a Mr. Mime. Most likely it was probably caught around here, I'm not so sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that could be her name, so yeah, I should be on the lookout. There is one item, it's a thousand machine. It's with the dust machine as a starter, so yeah. It's definitely not here, so yeah. I'm gonna search it on land, is what I feel like I should be doing, so yeah. But anyway, we're going on the water route, and our lead Pokemon choice is um, not good, but hey, we can always switch, and that's probably what I'm gonna be doing a lot. Oh hey, will you help me with my sunblock? Don't tell me, you rather battle. Um. <laughs> I feel more comfortable battling, let's just say. Bam, we got Nikki here with a seal. Uh, can we take a seal? I think we can. I mean, yeah, the level difference is quite big, so yeah, why not? Different enough pick. So anyway, I think the thing I wanted to talk about now... Actually, there's a couple of things that are coming to mind. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to talk about much in the last couple of parts, so yeah, I got something. So yeah, I remember, yeah, in one of the parts where we were on the SSR, I was talking about, like, things I dream of doing. One thing I should have mentioned, again, this is not something I see myself doing, but it would be kind of fun. Just because, yeah, I have a lot of respect for this, um, I guess, role, and that's of course voice acting, because, yeah, I do respect the vo a lot of voice acting, because, yeah, of course, with modern gaming, voice acting is taken very seriously, and you gotta learn a lot about the roles and stuff from different voice actors is really cool stuff, and yeah, it would be fun to do that, like becoming the voice for a character in the game, that sounds awesome, but yeah, it isn't easy, you do need some talent. I don't have very good acting talent, so yeah, I'm worried about Sunburn, that's why I don't see it a role that I could do, and anyway, Aiden's calling us. You found a Grimer. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> Not much else to say there. So I got the photographer here. This is an area where the hidden item could be. And yep, it's where Golem is. Well, um, it's where Quake is. So yeah, we got a Stardust, and now we can go fight this dude. I'm bored by fishing, let's battle. So again, yeah, voice acting is just really cool. It is definitely one of the cooler roles you could do in a game, I feel like. So yeah, it's really fun to learn about. So yeah. Anyway, like I said, become the voice of a cool character, of course, that sounds awesome, so yeah. But yeah, like I said, though, not something because, yeah, when it comes to acting, I guess I could talk about that. I didn't do much um, in school. And yeah, it's just that, yeah, I feel like drama as well. Not a failure. I don't think I was very good at drama class either, so yeah. Again, it's not something that, yeah... It'd be something that I'm not, like, known for. Of course, I'm more so known for... data and stuff, and research, so yeah. Surround yourself with Burp because the thing that Sunday you might be able to fight to. So yeah, basically, yeah, I wouldn't be taking it one judge of my natural time. So yeah, it's just a cool... It's just something I respect a lot, and that's why, you know, I want to mention it, yeah? Now, yeah, let's talk about something else. So the thing about this game is that, yeah, you could definitely say that I'm a little bit nostalgic like, when it comes to it, which, yeah, this game is definitely one of the ones I'm very nostalgic towards. I'm not so sure if it's this game or Fire Red that I'm more nostalgic towards, because, yeah, I played them both very early in my career as a Pokemon player, I guess. 
or just a fan of the series, I've been saying Sega. That's why, uh, they're pretty, they feel very special to me, because that, they, uh, I do think that, yeah, this game is actually really good. I don't think it's as good as Platinum, because, yeah, I feel like, yeah, Platinum was more engaging when it comes to, like, the trainers and stuff, and the wild Pokemon and stuff as well. Like, yeah, I feel like Platinum gives you more options, and I feel like, yeah, because of that, it feels a little bit more fun to play as a result, but this game's still really good in my opinion. I couldn't fly. Like, yeah, of course, another thing about being nostalgic towards this game, this game is a remake after all, and I feel like, yeah, you could get very nostalgic towards those. Because of, well, what they are, so yeah. Of course, a reimagining. Already, I wouldn't say reimagining, just, you know, bringing back a game that was already really good. And make it even better. Oh, I've caught a train instead of a Pokemon. But yeah, Ness is going to do much about this route. But anyway, that's all we we're talking about, so yeah. Hey, this guy's coursing, alright. <laughs> so that's all we we're trying to talk about here. So yeah, um. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, this game is very special to me, so even though there are definitely some problems, I did mention some too. I feel like, yeah, Kanto is actually not too... Like, yeah, it's cool, but at the same time, yeah, there isn't too much to it, and it's also a little bit easier in some regards, especially if you have a well-built team as well. Because, yeah, you kind of saw us on the gym, so we were pretty... We didn't have too much problems with most of the gym leaders. Some of them definitely gave us good fights, but, yeah... Nothing compared to some of the challenges you have to face in Churu, so yeah. But yeah, the side that though, yeah, I still like it a lot, and again, that might be some nostalgia to that, because of course I also like Fire Red too. So yeah, getting to see these areas again is pretty cool, so and yeah, I do kind of think about my f uh, Leaf Green play for a little bit as well, because yeah, that was a fun one, it was the first time I got to show my love of Pokemon on the channel as well, so yeah. Yes, again, I do like this series quite a bit. Definitely not as much as I used to, but yeah. Uh, I think another thing about me being a stodge this game is, yeah. While I do like Heart Gold a lot, it's definitely not my favorite Pokemon game. Maybe and Murphy, my fishing line got cut. But I do think that it's probably the best remake in the series. It or Fire Red, in my opinion. That's actually, yeah. Fire Red being a good remake, I can see that being very controversial, but yeah. Um. Like, yeah, compared to Oras, because, yeah, Oras was good, I felt. But, yeah, I don't feel like it was as big of a improvement when compared to, um, when compared to the jump from Gen 2 to Gen 4 with Gold, Silver, and Harkos and stuff. I love bikinis. I'm an electric bikini. I could wear it even in winter. What? <laughs> do, do those even exist? I feel like they don't. So, anyway. So, we got Chelen here. Chelen. Depending on how you want to see that, and she's got a super. Cool. So yeah, we're gonna go for Thunderbolt on it. The electric key. Oh, that sounds kind of painful at the same time too. I assume it's like slightly <laughs> heated or something like that is what she's referring to. But yeah, I don't know. Sounds really weird. They the field is super cool. Aww. So back to that. Yeah. Like, yeah, Urus is definitely good. I had my fun time playing it, but it's not really... It is probably the better of the two Gen 6 games, but I think it's just that, yeah, Gen 6... Again, it doesn't interest me as much as Gen 3 and Gen 4. And yet, yeah, with Emerald being a Gen 4 game... Or Gen 3 game, sorry. That being one of my favorite generations to play as well. I do love how fast the battling is because of the 60 FPS. It feels really nice. Um... And of course, I do have some good memories of playing Emerald as well. But yeah, it's not like I didn't have fun with ORS. My playthrough of ORS is really fun. Gotta keep going. But I think I only did one playthrough. I didn't I didn't think I played the game that much. So yeah. That playthrough is weird because yeah, I remember my brother was nicknamed my Pokemon and he named him after um, something interesting. <laughs> something he doesn't want to admit that he watched, basically. So yeah. Um, let's just say. But anyway. Um, I also used, like, because you had an event for a Shiny Metagross, or Shiny Builder, I should be saying. I used that. I even used the free Latias you get as well. So, yeah. That was an interesting playthrough. But again, I don't think it was as fun as, um, you know, this game, I felt like. 
I feel like this... This game... Um, I don't know. It's kind of interesting to figure out, because I do think it does outclaw some gold and silver in my opinion. But gold and silver, I guess, do you still have them fans as well? Because again, they were definitely technical... Like, they're probably some of the biggest games on the Game Boy. And probably one of the most impressive games on that system as well, so yeah. So yeah, I can definitely see that, but yeah, I do think that yeah, Hawk Gold does is a major improvement. I think, yeah, maybe that's why I value a lot in a remake. It being a major improvement over the original. And that's probably why I think that Brain Down Shine is the worst remake. Because, yeah, it doesn't improve enough, I feel like. And we also use another Pokemon that doesn't like this route, but anyway. Yeah, we fought that. So now we're going to be using Octi here. Although Octi does have, um, sunny days, so we can actually think about using that. Whoa, a nibble. Huh, a bow? Okay, let's go. <laughs> but then there's also Let's Go, but I don't know if you would count Let's Go as a remake. It feels more like a reimagination, so yeah. That's an interesting one to think about. But anyway, I think what I can do here is I can go for a sunny day and then flame for it, and I think we might actually knock it out. So yeah, because it's a seed drop, so let's see. It goes for agility, alright? But yeah, I still have fun with Let's Go too. Again, that story of the Shiny Magpie, yeah, I'm not gonna forget about that anytime soon, so yeah. <laughs> and yeah, even using some of the weird Pokemon I use, because I'm pretty sure I use like, some of the other Pokemon I use, like Kingler and, um, Venomoth. So yeah, I use a lot of weird Pokemon that playthrough, and it was actually quite a lot of fun, so yeah. But again, compared to Fire Red and Leaf Green, though, those feel a lot more fun in my opinion, so yeah. That's why I prefer playing those, because again, if you try to choose two, but you can't catch either one. Uh, actually, that kind of makes a little bit of sense when you think about um, the hordes and the um, the hordes and the um, like double grass and stuff like that. Yeah, if you try to chase two Pokemon, you might not even get any of them. But it's five o'clock now. I can tell by how this looks, baby, anyway. because the sun is setting. Anyway, over here we have another fisherman to fight. Question is, did I become a fisherman because I'm patient, or did I get more patient because I'm a fisherman? The egg or the chicken, I guess. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, back to that, yeah. A lantern, cool. But yeah, I'm gonna probably escape this because the lantern's very bulky. So, we're gonna go in a tricky. But anyway, back to uh, what I'm trying to say here. Again. This game, again, I feel like, yeah... <laughs> I just, I'm repeating, I'm stumbling over my words a lot here, but yeah, what I'm trying to say is, yeah, I think I value remakes that do improve of the original experience. And probably, yeah, by a decent amount too. Because, yeah, okay, that's why I value Fire Red, and I value Hot Gold so much over, yeah, Brilliant Diamond and... Ores. Because, yeah, again, the last two, even though they did make some improvements, it doesn't feel like enough of I feel like, yeah, they could have done even more cool things, to be honest. But yeah, ORS is definitely a lot better when it comes to BDSP, obviously, because, yeah. At least with ORS, it did try to incorporate a lot of things from Emerald, which I like. But, I don't know, I still feel like... I mean, yeah, I would happily play ORS, probably. But at the same time, though, I wouldn't mind playing Gun Emerald. So, again, it's interesting to think about. I guess I can think about some of the best remakes, because of course I've been... It should be no secret that, yeah, I've been researching the Res Resident Evil series a lot. And yeah, when it comes to that series, most people say that the best remake is the RE1 remake. But anyway, let's see. The teacher on the swimming class where I learned to swim had a face just like a polywell. That sounds really weird. <laughs> a lot of these guys have some really strange dialogue, not gonna lie. You got Esteban, which is Golduck. I guess you could try the sunny day just flamethrower. <laughs> Even though technically, yeah, Focus Blast would probably do enough, but yeah. This still might work out, unless we get confused her. Blood of Water Pulse, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, I see that, yeah, the sun is reducing the damage back by a bit. Too bad I can't, you know, solar beam anymore, but that's okay. Nice try, Fire Blast. But anyway, back to what we're trying to talk about here. Yeah, again, when it comes to that series, most people think that the Resident Evil 1 remake is the best remake, and in fact, one of the best remakes ever made. It basically takes what the old game did, but then amps it up, and even adds some new features too to make it sound so, so yeah, that's probably why most people consider it a wonderful remake. 
And yeah, when I think of heart gold, yeah, it kind of does sound like it does a couple of those things too. Although, it doesn't change as much, I feel like. But still though, it changes a good amount. I guess, yeah, the same could go for Fire Red too. Yes, again, Fire Red does change a good amount, but yeah. I'm sorry, teacher. Maybe not enough, because again, the trainer quality still isn't all that. Like, yeah, they're definitely a lot better than they were before, but yeah, not by too much, so yeah. Like, yeah, Liverpool's before the post game are very questionable still. So I think it's a full body exercise, so it's really good for building strength. So yeah. Yeah, that's interesting to think about. So yeah, I guess, yeah, I can thank Resident Evil 1's remake for making me think about that, but anyway. And once again, even though Sunny Day has really bad PP, it's actually been kind of working out here, so yeah. And yeah, it's gonna really work out once you get, um, Solar Beam if I do go for the evolution. And yeah, that's something interesting to think out too. Again, I am actually eyeing Solar Beam. On me evolve, because even though, yeah, I guess that's something I should have mentioned before. But yeah, the reason why I kind of don't want to do Thunderbolt, even though I really love Thunderbolt Magnum, it's one of the coolest things that it gets. It's just that, yeah, I already have lots of electric type coverage. I have three Pokemon with electric type coverage then, so yeah. Yeah, we definitely want Focus Blast, so I'm gonna try it. But it hasn't do it, alright. So... So like, yeah, then I could have some more Grass type coverage, and that could be useful. I wasn't sure how useful it's gonna be for the final few battles in the game, but yeah. It could be very nice, so yeah. It's interesting to think about. And yeah, I feel like yeah, having Sunny Day in my back pocket could be very important for a certain battle in the postgame too, so yeah. Anyway, we completely uh, destroy him, even though he isn't duo, unfortunately. But yeah, Sun is still out. It is cool that this person has a good one. But yeah, he... All he wanted to do was a duo. I'm not so sure what that says about him, but anyway. <laughs> Let's take out that good one. And there we go. Well, this will allow Agni to level up. Yes, it will. And yeah, I feel like, yeah, this route definitely shows that, yeah, Sunny Day has its place. <laughs> My Pokemon have no body strength. Maybe that's what is enduring all the time, but anyway. But yeah, one, another thing I want to talk about when it comes to the nostalgia thing. So yeah, again, I wouldn't say I'm completely nostalgia fine with this game, because yeah, if I was, I would say it's my favorite game in the series. And I'd also say that, yeah, there's no reason to play the more Pokemon games, which, yeah, that's completely wrong. Yes, again, I don't think this game's perfect, because again, it's not Resident Evil 1 remake levels of good, like I was kind of saying. It's far from that, but it's still... For a Pokemon game though, it does get kind of close. So yeah, I can definitely see why some people say this is the best remake. Bird Keepers are so wonderful with that bird Pokemon. Uh, probably. <laughs> they should be, otherwise, why would they be a bird keeper? But anyway, this guy has four Pokemon, and one of them's a dirty bird. So yeah, here yeah, we're just gonna go for the good old Thunderbolt. Just in case I have the choice specs I quit, which I don't think I do, so yeah, it should be fine anyway. But anyway. So back to that, yeah, and then yeah, even though I don't like the modern poker games as much, it's not like the bad games, you can still get a lot farther. Like, yeah, of course, I always think about Scar Pilot, because yeah, even though that game has a lot of issues, it's still fun to play, and it's still fun to look at the new Pokemon and stuff. And yeah, that was the most fun I had with that game too. And I feel like, yeah, that might be why Sword Shield might be my least favorite mainline game. Maybe. I'm not so sure, because... Again, I haven't played every mainline Pokemon game because I haven't played the Gen 1 or 2 games, but yeah. Again, it kind of just feels like Skull and Violet the mod is good, so yeah. That's kind of why I'm thinking towards that, but yeah. I'll need to think about that, because yeah, at least with Gen 1 and 2. I don't know. Because yeah, they're still playable. It's not like they're unplayable, but yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> they definitely do feel a little bit antiquated, let's just say, so yeah. That's why, um, again, maybe Sword Shield's better than them, but yeah, it's hard to say. But anyway, haha. <laughs> to defeat you, I couldn't handle it. And yeah, also, yeah, if you're wondering what my favorite game in the series, well, it's Black Knight 2, actually. A game I might have even more nostalgia for. I don't think I do, but I did play Black Knight 2 tons as well. And yeah, when I think about that too, I also played Ultra Sun and Moon a lot, and I wouldn't say that Ultra Sun and Moon are good games either. They're alright, but yeah, nothing too spectacular, but anyway. 
Like, as some in general, they are fine games. But yeah, definitely, I feel like, yeah, Sun and Moon probably better than X and Y. I guess this turned into me ragging the Pokemon games. Maybe I want to do a tier list at some point, but yeah, I'll think about it. But yeah, we definitely want to use, um, Trick Beat Earth, so let's do that. Against you, Swimmer. Hey, Trina, how about you put on a swimsuit too? Um, I guess I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, swimsuits, yeah. When we're talking about a lot of the games I've played, and probably a lot of the games that my viewers have played, yeah, swimsuits basically are just kind of feel like fan service clothing now, so yeah. But then again, a lot of things can be considered fan service clothing, so yeah. I don't think, yeah, swimsuits are all that. all to blame for that, but yeah, they might be. I didn't want to lose. But anyway, there we go. We fought every train on this route, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, now we're gonna check out Cinnabar Island. Or more like what's left of Cinnabar Island. Because as you can tell by the music, and as you can tell by the environment, yeah, there isn't much left of it. The Cinnabar Gym is relocated to Seafoam Islands. So yeah, that's what Blaine is gonna be. The ravaged town of the past. It's kinda sad to be honest. But yeah. It's kind of hard to tell in the Gen 1 games, but there is a volcano around here, so yeah. <laughs> and it erupted, and yeah, this is what happened. So yeah. So let's heal up here. And now we're going to pull to you. It's been a year since the volcano erupted. It's so fortunate that everyone evacuated in time. I feel so sorry for Blaine, he lost his gym. Yeah, it's kind of a cruel twist of fate for him, because yeah, it was... Because essentially in Let's Go, that's one of the more fun gyms in the game. But yeah, we have a person here we want to talk to. It is, of course, Blue. Who are you? My name's Blue. I was once the Kanto champion, although it's short-lived thanks to Red. Anyway, take a good look around you. A volcano rots, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning or losing in Pokemon, but nature so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to if you want to bow me for real, show me how many Kanto badges you've got. Six. You're not ready to bow me. So yeah, as you can probably tell, if you're gonna challenge Blue, the last gym leader, we need to get um all the Kanto badges. Luckily though, we only have one left, and we now know where it is. We need to go to Sea from Islands, so and we need to go take on Blaine as fire type Pokemon. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is let's end the part here. I'm probably yeah, I'm probably gonna be flying back to um the mainland, but yeah, this is why I want to start the next part because yeah, I think next time we're gonna be starting to explore Route 20, and yeah. Seeing if there's any new Pokemon here. There aren't any new Pokemon other than, yeah, the grass is the only interesting thing because yeah, Tangler and Mistlight are kind of cool, even though we already had access to those. Cinnabar doesn't have anything, I'm pretty sure, either. The main point of interest, of course, all that rock climbing. So once we get rock climb, I'm going to go explore it. So yeah, there are a lot of items you can douse for too, but if a lot of them are with rock climb, then yeah, I kind of want to wait. It won't be too long until we get that, so yeah, that's no problem there. And yeah, no other new Pokemon to think about on Route 20 for the time being. So yeah. So yeah, that's in the pot here. So next time, so yeah, we made it to Cinnabar and also, yeah, off screen, I can go work on the Ruins of Earth if I really want to, so yeah. And yeah, I talked a whole lot about, yeah, the Stalder and stuff, so yeah. Maybe it's worth talking about a little bit more, but yeah, we'll think about that. But anyway, <laughs> so like I said, next time, we're gonna go explore Route 20 and maybe make it to Seafoam Islands. Although I think I'm going to take on C from Irons at a later point, I guess we'll see. But yeah, I look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.